Hey guys, back up at the foundry. It is another day. Um, I started doing Keith's job with you. Uh, made the cores and that. I couldn't get a good mold. Uh, camera died on me and that. So uh, we're going to get back at it today. It still is very cold down here. Hopefully the sand will be good enough. Um, having a hard time getting stuff going as usual. It's a problem with small shops, you know. So anyhow, um, what I did, I'll show you here real quick. Um, there's the pattern. I ended up making a little bit of a gating system there so I don't have to hand cut it. Um, hopefully it'll work out. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead, make two molds, pour them, and keep our fingers crossed, make sure the gating system's good and that. So, um, I've had a couple guys, you know, say, uh, one guy, um, you know, say, oh, there's a formula for, for gating. There is, there's all kinds of formulas. I've seen them used um, nine times out of 10, more than that, 95% of the time. I've just, every foundry I've worked in, minus four, you know, they did everything scientifically there, engineers and that. But here, um, most every place I've worked with, just, you know, the guy will come out and tell you, hey, I want this size runner, or this size in gates, that. So that, that's how we're gonna do these. Um, I, I just, I just can't be bothered with the uh, the formulas and that. It's just not that, you know. Um, I'm not doing that critical parts, you know. So it's not a big thing for me. Uh, if they come out, they come out. If they don't, we just try it again. All right. So I'll uh, get you guys up on a tripod and let's uh, see if we can get a couple castings today. Okay, I got the uh, parting compound on here. Like I say, first uh, batch of it, we stick. Um, some good sand on there. Make sure there's nothing, uh, no inclusions in the sand. A lot of times you get like uh, little chunks of metal in there, and that actually there's a chunk of metal stuck in my finger, and there's a chunk of the building right there. So right now, take my fingers, push it in these holes a little bit. And then just start filling her up. Okay, there's my risers we're gonna put on. 
I just put one pin in those. Should have put two, but it's kind of in a hurry this morning. I'm trying to get up here so we can get this done. Um, so I only put one in there. Um, here I just put a little pin. We're gonna put a uh, or pad. We're gonna put what's called a um, hazer, and I got that on the wrong side too. So let me see if I can take this off and put it back on the other side here. Okay, I set this up backwards from what I had it yesterday in the shop. So I just move this over. We're gonna put this in here. We got the gating in there. Okay. Let's get the burden compound in there. And again. Get some good seeing. in the hole a little bit, put some around the uh, risers, make sure it's going to stay there. Um, another thing I'm going to do, I got these little risers, we're going to find this, uh, where are we, here it is, let's see if we can do this, this is going to be kind of ungainly a little bit, I should just poke a hole in it on the other side, but Okay, and let's see what we get here. Okay, I'm gonna switch around here, <clears throat> try to get you, like I said, we got another camera. Uh, it's gotta learn how to get things going with it. Okay, so what I'm doing here, let's see if I can get you down here. Oops. All right, what I'm doing here, I gotta get the risers out. They're all the way through so we can just, you know, tap them out with something here and we got the pin on there so all we got to do is tap them out boom be careful when you're doing it okay so this one actually came up off the mold which is fine and the deal we still got contact so there there's that so this is a 
a good mold. Um, I have this little pop-off riser here. Um, you know, it, it, it's looking like it's going to be over-gated, hopefully. But, you know, it's better to be over than under. You know, hopefully, like I said, we want to try to do this months. There's some sand that was in between the rising and pork legs. Alright, now I gotta get these out of here. Alright, we're gonna gotta get the gating out of here. So this one's gonna take a little uh let's see if we can use these pins to get the pattern out. So same thing. I want to vibrate this out a little bit here. Let's see if that's gonna help. We're gonna get it. We might have to put some screws in, which yeah, we're gonna go get some screws. Hang tight, guys. Just regular drywall screws. Make sure you don't go all the way through. That wouldn't be a good thing, would it, here? All right, so, same thing. This gives us a little bit of a hand hold. Especially for me, I got big fat kibbasi fingers, so it's uh, a little harder for me a lot of times here. So, all right, so we got this out. I think we're gonna have to do the same thing with the uh, gating. Just get these screws in here real quick. Would have helped if I put some holes in here. I should have probably put some holes in here. But I didn't do that, so let's see what we can do to, uh, the gating's falling apart, but that's all right. We just gotta use it one more time. Came apart, but it's, it's still usable. All right, so there's a... Uh, there's the drag mold. Okay, so what we're gonna do is get the cores we made, get the cores we made, set them in here, and um, put the copath on top, and then uh, um, you know light the furnace up shortly and, and get going on that here. Show you how to set the core. Now these these should be glued together, um, but like I was explaining before, for um, me to get a bottle of glue is, you know, 20 bucks, I think, something like that. It, I'll, I'll use a couple drops of it and then the whole thing will go to waste. Okay. So here's the core we made. We put some core wash on it. All right. Um, a lot of times what you can do is uh, with these things, you can actually put little indents so that you can get your fingers in here. But we got this whole big window here, okay? And this is where I was saying with this job, right, most of this is, is in here is in the, the core, the shape is in the core, okay? Now remember how I said that uh, if you go back to the one video where we're building the pattern, this is gonna kiss through, the copath is gonna land on top of that, right? I got my key, see the key here? The key's over here, so I can hold this like this and I gotta make sure that I'm not gonna hit that boss there. Okay, you gotta be real careful. And bingo, there you go. Let me get you close up here. Okay, so that's how the core fits in there. Like I said, remember we put a little bit more here, but you know, like I said, the metal's not going to get in there, so it's not going to be a big deal. Okay, so let me get the um, we're getting crooked here. Let me get the uh, this over onto the pouring table, and then we'll get the cope on and then we'll show you porn. All right, hang tight. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you one more thing of uh, how we're going. We've got the gating in here, a little bit of it caved in, it's all right. Now we're gonna set the core in here. Uh, 
this one core. We're just going to set this one on top. The colt will hold it down. Just going to make sure we're in line with this interior hole here. And there you go. So the metal will flow through there. There's end gates down in there. Flow all around there and then we'll bust the core box out or the core out when it's all done. And hopefully we'll have a good cask. So I'm gonna set the, uh, I got the furnace ready to go. Um, I'm gonna light it up and then uh, turn the camera back on when we're pouring, see what happens. Keep our fingers crossed. Hey guys here comes the time to reveal um, not too optimistic with these uh, notice that right after we got poured the, the top of the mold was all cracked and busted so not uh, not too optimistic about these ones but let's see what we got okay guys I deep molded the castings um, can't really tell what they look like. There's cores in there and everything. Uh, I don't think these things are gonna make it, but I'm gonna take them home, clean them up, and uh, I'll let you guys take a look at them when um, you know I get them all cleaned up. You know, good or bad, we'll uh, take a peek at them. All right, hang tight a little while. Okay, everybody, we got done up at the foundry a couple days ago. Um, it's been a couple days. Um, I had to go to work for uh, four days, so we're back from work for a little bit here. Started cleaning up these castings. They're pretty ugly looking. Um, not one of my best looking castings, but I kind of figured we could uh, salvage them, and which which it's uh, it looks looking it's looking like I'll be able to. Okay, so here's one casting. All right, this one I haven't done anything to. It's still got the gating on and everything. Um, you can see the core in here, all right. Here's the uh, casting that I cleaned up quite a bit. I machined some off the top here because if you remember the uh, mold actually uh, gave way a little bit there. So, but that's what it looks like. Okay, remember the recess in there? All right. So, that's what we got, all right. That's uh, really easy. Like I said, what I'm going to try to do is uh, clean up the other one, 
Um, I got to do some grinding on them, grind the flashing on, use gloves all the time because that stuff is sharp as all get out. And it's also the thing that you, a lot of guys don't get too is um, the weight of that casting. That thing probably weighs a good 15 pounds and it's got a lot of sharp edges on it. So if you drop it, that's like a guillotine, you know, it's just going to cut stuff off. So, you know, be careful. This is stuff you got to be careful with, you know. All right, so I'm going to clean the other one up. Um, going to grind them both. And then I'm going to take them up to a buddy of mine, a uh, buddy customer. Going to put him in and put him in his bead blaster. Bead blast them up. And we're going to send them out to uh, Keith Rucker down in Georgia. So hopefully, um, you know, he's going to do a, a video of him machining these eventually. Uh, just called him yesterday. Uh, right now, this project's kind of on hold for him. He's got a couple other things he's got going on. So hopefully he'll get his video out pretty soon. You'll be able to see the machining end of this. And, uh, you know, we got the casting done. Like I said, they're not the prettiest looking, but they're sal salvageable. Yeah, I was like, do the best I can, but sometimes it just... You know, I've had this project for quite a while, and, uh, um, you know, I just want to get it done for Keith. They'll get down there. If anything happens, too, if there's more uh, issues with them, you can always send them back. We can cast some more. You know, it's not that big of a deal. So, anyhow, that was the whole project for Keith. Uh, we got the pattern done. We got the core box done. Took you down to the foundry, showed you how to make the cores for them, and pour the mold. So... It's, uh, we'll try to do some more like this. I'll try to get some patterns in here, uh, similar to this where it's, um, you know, mostly all core. You can't see. I do have a pattern in here right now. It would have been perfect. It's cope and drag. Um, it's mostly core box. The only problem is I just have the pattern. I don't have the core boxes. And I don't have a casting to show what the, you know, um, end product is so <clears throat> that's a problem with that but we'll get something in here to show you guys a little bit more of that and like I said I'll, I'll get more projects going um, I do have another casting that I do have to cast uh, two or three of them it's kind of like that so uh, next couple months we'll get that done um, like I said I got stuff doing it's just kind of you know still uh, dealing with work and and that so it's um you know hopefully we'll get back on some more videos and that so anyhow uh appreciate everybody that's subscribing if you haven't subscribed i really appreciate it so i want to keep this stuff going and tell your buddies about me i'd really appreciate that and with that everybody have a good one out there and on top of it stay safe